Here we go, super middleweight contest for us today. James Hannigan versus Harry Matthews. Hannigan coming out strong right now in the um, on the front foot. The southpaw in the white shorts. Quite cool shorts, to be fair. Yeah, they're decent. Oh, nice little backhand there you try to go for. Hennigan, I think, last for November 2022 on the Frank Warren card. November, oh, yeah, that's quite a while, actually. I mean, in regards to the division as well, even domestically, the super middleweight scene is uh, is booming, isn't it, guys? No, it is, most definitely. Um, like you said, domestically. Some good fights up there. Um, we just saw that Chelly lose to... I forgot his name. Yeah. <laughs> it was a surprise loss, though, wasn't it? I think Chelly was... Uh, you know what? I, I, don't nah, think it, I don't think it was nah. a surprise loss. I think they underestimated that guy. Yeah, I, I agree with um, that. Jeffers. Was, Jeffers. Yeah. Mark Jeffers, yeah. That's yeah, it. I agree with that 100%. Jeffers, yeah. I think they see that he'd been inactive a little bit and thought we can catch him off guard. But it's actually one of those guys that's always up for a fight. Mm. So no matter who it is at any point, he's going to say that, like, let's go. Yeah. So I think maybe if he'd had a camp for Mark Jeffers, the result could have been different. But getting him on two weeks notice, an undefeated fight like Mark Jeffers, I think, yes. they, I think they overlooked him. Um, yeah, and then you got obviously Mark Heffron, who was the, 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 the champion. Uh, British champion and that. So yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a good division domestically. You know, you got. Can't forget Lerone Richards as well. And Lerone Richards. How can I forget yeah. Lerone Richards? Yeah, no, you're right. He's, so he's skillful. Good yeah. head shot there from Hennigan. Gen yeah. Generally, one of my favourite fighters. Yeah, oh, so skillful, so skillful. I die. It's just a shame with Lerone, as in you don't really get to see much of him, do you? In terms of yeah, we haven't recently. No, yeah. we, haven't, we haven't for a while. But actually, what a talented fighter. Oh yeah, and, and he stays in the gym. It's not like he's disappointed. He stays in the gym. He's just waiting for his opportunity. Oh, another good body shot there from Hennigan. But yeah, I, I spotted um, Richards coming up to the Yanovic fight. And again for my last fight, and yeah, he's that guy's talented, man. Yeah, I aspired him a lot coming up to uh, take Tyler Denny fight. Oh yeah, and yeah, he's just he's he's unreal, man. Yeah, he's man, just so he's different. Yeah, so yeah. simple, so hard to hit. I was going so to hold down, I was gonna say so is Tyler Denny. I mean, that guy just uh, he's another relentless person, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, yeah. yeah, he's more relentless than skill, but yeah, yeah. He, he does work hard. He's a hard worker. Yeah, he's very very hard worker. He, you know, he, look, he's not an easy fight for anybody. You know, no. he's not an easy fight for anyone, especially when my stable mate fought him, you know what I mean? He's not an easy fight for anyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, And, yeah. you know, he's, he's, he's done it. He's doing it the traditional route. He's doing it the proper way. He's had to earn I mean, an he's, English he's, title yeah, fighting he's, he's British double fighters. Yeah, he's, 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 he's taking his opportunities. I mean, no, no one's given him a, a chance, really. And he's no. taking his opportunities and beating on the few fighters. So, yeah, man, you got to credit to him. I mean, um, Hannigan as well. He's got one KO on his record so far. This is, what, fight number 10? Yeah. So... Clearly, he probably you know wants to impress. You, you know what? I, it's, it's not easy to get KOs, and I know I say that, but it just comes. Mm. It just comes. I mean, when you're loading up looking for it, mm. your opponent sees them shots. They're gonna brace themselves. Yeah. It's, it's the sneaky ones that catch them off guard. It's the, mm. So you, you've got to kind of set up, just like what um, what Linus was saying earlier in the in the Mason fight. Throw a couple four way shots that some you know just a, a, a few flurries and come with, come with a big shot. That shot might take them out, but when you're loading up every shot. You've got to really have heavy hands to take them out like that. Otherwise, we see it coming, we brace ourselves. And, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not about power. Power doesn't knock people out. No. You know, it's timing. If you, if you time the right shot, if you time any shot right, you're, you're, you can you, you chin anybody. Oh, yeah, and, you know, it's uh, like you said, if, you just, if you're not going in there trying to knock them out, if you're not going in there trying to just load up on unless you've got them heavy hands. Yeah. But if yeah. you're, you know what I mean, timing, timing is what knocks people out. Timing and speed are what takes people out. No, 100%. We're heading good fighting from the, uh, the fighting city of Liverpool. Some great fighters there at the moment, aren't they? Mm. Natasha Jonas, Liam Smith. Mm. And here he is yeah. applying his trade here at, uh, at your call. Good shot to, Good the, shot body. to the body. Just almost admired his work a little bit there. Kind yeah. of just, yeah, he landed yeah. it and thought, oh, that was nice. Yeah, he's got a great oh, shot. shot there to the body. That was a good left hand. Great um, shot. Right hand to the body. I don't... Great shot. Devastating shot there. He's up. He's got to go straight back there. Mm. He's got to go straight back there. I mean. He'll go upstairs now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Switch the attack and go back there. And he just nodded after. his head and uh, looks like we know where he's going to be going, don't we? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. This is, and this is another reason why it's hard to get stoppages. Sometimes you don't realise. I mean, he knows he's got him hurt, but it's finishing. 
yeah. it's, it's hard to finish it, guys that don't uh, want to be finished. Oh, you know, especially you know, especially some journeymen. You know, this is this is literally where they separate themselves. You know, when they get hurt, they're really good at surviving now. They're yeah. really oh, it's just hurt. It's hurt again. It's hurt again. Same place. Good. Good. And I don't think it'll be interesting um, if he does get up from this one. Yeah, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's in a lot of pain, isn't he? He shook his head. No, I don't think he's yet. He's made it. He's up. We go. And right. got to show us what he's got. He can show us if he's a finisher. Good left hand there, just as Matthews fell in. But sometimes the results of the body that they're, they're affected afterwards, aren't they? Oh yeah. And then this is this is where fighters like this get dangerous when they're hurt. They're a wounded animal. They get dangerous. Yeah, be yeah. Careful. Exactly. They got they got to fight back in 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 in, in, in tr trying to defend themselves. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go back to the other side as well now. You know what it is? This is a really good showing from uh, James because Harry Matthews doesn't really get stopped. He hardly gets stopped. He's a very good, uh, but he's a very hard opponent to deal with. Yeah, and he's putting down twice, so if he can get him mm. out of there. This would be a great statement. Yeah, it was. Oh. I think he can. I think he can. Yeah, 100%. It's only the second round, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But then he might need to get in this round because if he recovers in that minute off. Yeah. But he's comfortable, Hennigan, he's comfortable, he's, he's doing what he wants. Oh, right just there. Just said that, got caught with the right hand. Maybe a bit too comfortable. Mm. Right there, certain people just become a little bit more dangerous when they're hurt, you know. Yeah. you just got to stay with your wits and go do what do what, do what what hurt them in the first place. Don't get yeah. too excited, don't get too relaxed. Got to stay somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is where your finishing skills really have to show. Yeah, no, most definitely. But then again, we, all, we can't all be Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How, I, it's, all, it's all an accident when I knock my guys out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you don't even know it's coming. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Hennigan goes straight back to the body then. Oh, oh. big right hand there for Matthews. Hennigan needs to not lean back so much, he leans back. Oh, oh. nice little left hand there. That was sharp. Again, another good learning fight. You know what I mean? Another really good learning fight. He's hurt him twice. He hasn't visibly got too excited. He's kind of, you know, tried to do what got him here in the first place. Now, yeah. and you know, even if he doesn't get the stoppage, it's a massive learning fight. Oh no, one hundred percent, definitely. I suppose someone less experienced would just go out there, guns blazing. But he's quite controlled, isn't he, guys? Yeah, he's quite I think chilled. If he does, he, he walk into one of them swinging hooks that that Matthews has been throwing. I mean, he's been caught a bit twice, but he hasn't really walked into it, so hasn't been hurt by it. But someone else that's just being reckless and doesn't see it coming can get clipped by that. Matthews was one of them guys, I mean, the first time he got hurt, he tried to go in his shell a little bit and be defensive. The second time he started fighting back and he's realised that's working for him. Fighting back as, as a means of as a, as a, as a means of defence yep. has worked, worked better for him than him just getting in his shell. I mean, Hennigan's had quite a long layoff as well, hasn't he? In terms yeah, I mean, of, um, yeah, to box last November, that's a long time. Are you aware of, has he had any injuries or was it just a case of not a five of the show? No, I mean, probably just hasn't been able to get out. That's probably why he's on one of, he's, you know, he's opted to come on one of these small shows. I mean, signing with, being with Frank Warren, you'd want to be on one of the big cars, but you're probably thinking, I, I, I can't stand here and be inactive. I've yep. I got, I got to get my career moving. So he's opted to just come on a small show and showcase his talent to stay active and, uh, full respect to that man you can't hang around all the time and wait for the big shows oh 100% you know at this stage of your career where you're you know 9, 10 and 0 like inactivity is just not what you want it kills it's not, fighters you know, yeah, it's, not, it's not what you want I mean you mentioned Lerone Richards I think he did that a few months ago as well I think yeah. he could actually fight on a on a small hall show just to get those juices flowing again yeah mm. you have to man it's so important to stay active and mm. that's why I'm a fighter doesn't like being active I mean I hate yeah. it I, I lost for an April and I'm itching to get back out already so mm. I hate it. When I, yeah. last, when I last fought Bentley, 
I like, after it took it was nearly a year before I fought again and I was just like I just, I just need to fight there's mm. that you know yeah. you can wait around for managing positions you can wait around for these kind of fights and things like this and all these promises but you know I had some contractual issues but inactivity just worked enough so I had to get back out on like a small whole show you know yeah, I mean yeah. you, you were due to fight Kieran Conway and obviously that that never materialised and you know gutting for the fans I suppose because that would have been a, a great fight Oh, 100%. And, you know, like, that's still, that's still coming. It's just whenever, I'm going to say it, whenever his arsehole's ready to close up, you know what I mean? It's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those situations where it's a shocking industry we're in, where we're all fighters, but a lot of fighters don't really want to fight each other anymore. And yeah. it's a shame, but, you know, we a fight's coming. I nearly, like, booked myself in to fight on a small hall show in August, and then I just kind of weighed up the pros and cons yep. and just said, you know what, we'll just wait till a rescheduled date around September time, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, it's very, it's incredibly frustrating when you are yeah. up fighting because you know you feel like there's no purpose and no, you, you, it's, you feel like you haven't got that sense of purpose. This is what we do. We're fighters. All we do is we're fighters. You know what I mean? And this is all we want to do. This is why we came into this game to fight and be the best. So yep. when you're not, it's incredibly frustrating and demoralising. You know? No, most definitely. It will be here sooner rather than you know. Oh, oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Lee, when you're when you're fighting, one of my friends said to me, when you're when you when you start your career, your life goes in weeks. And I never understood what he said crazy. until it just goes in weeks. A years, it's years crazy. fly by like it's that crazy. in weeks. You don't even realise. It's crazy. Like, we're in the second half of the year already. Oh, I can't tell you what I've done this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. Uh, you, blink, just, you literally blink and you miss it. You blink and it's gone. Especially when you're in camp. Like, you think of a date. Before you know it, you had that date. And then you, you wait for the next one. The year yeah. flies. I hope it slows down once we retire. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I need some time back to enjoy, man. I can see you guys getting out of the golf clubs and uh, hitting a course or two. Yeah, why not? Shot. Or maybe the football boots. Yeah, hey, is that you? Is yeah, that yeah, you? I, thought, I, thought, I thought you was more hoops. Who me? I do. I, I do. I was, do. I 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 do. Pace has slowed down a little bit in this round. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, Hannigan's just controlling the pace completely, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He is. And you can see the the experience there where he's just picking his shots. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's just so relaxed. I mean, he's, he's well ahead on the cards. He's not rushing anything. Mm. Um, I think he's, he's over trying to get the stoppage now. I and mean, he's just settled back down into... Yeah letting it come yeah yeah. at this point you know at this point at this level as well you know branching double digits you got to just kind of like work on things that you've been working on in the gym obviously he's dropped him twice but now it's back to relaxing and taking your time and working on certain things that got you to that point so yeah, most you know, these fights are incredibly important and in my opinion he's doing really well here his, his patience is really good yeah no he has because uh, I mean after this is, is you know title fights area title fights English title mm, fights yep. and, those are stages where you know you can't go back and learn these things so better we learn it here because once you step up there's no going back oh, there is no going back you are at that level you, know, you, <laughs> you, know, you, you literally you don't, you don't win a title and then come back down you yeah, win a title exactly. and you just keep climbing you keep, you keep climbing and everybody is trying to have a great body shot from uh, yes. anyway. any good <laughs> nearly <laughs> almost, almost took yeah. a photo there <laughs> <laughs> It's quite funny, actually. We, we set up rings. Uh, we, sorry, we set up fights at ringside. The moment the the fighter goes sorry. down, you can just hear a crowd shouting out, "Effing knock him out! Mm. Knock him out!" Yeah. And, and you think, "Hang on, where is this going to come from?" It yeah. can't just materialise. Yeah, it's not that easy. And you know what? It's another part of the mentality and maturity you need to like pick up early in your career, uh, because yeah. you know it's 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 incredibly easy when you get that adrenaline from knocking someone down and all your family and everyone's screaming for you to go do it and it's easy for you to just drop your hands and go and try and do it <laughs> yeah. and get chinned you know what I mean so it, it's a massive um, it's a massive it's massive for your mentality and maturity yeah, yeah no most definitely penultimate round here but um can't see James changing much to be fair more of the same he's winning comfortably yeah I mean unless he lands another one of those body shots um, I think the the, the, fights, the rest of the fights since that this pace Henning is well in control he's well comfortable you know he's not in trouble at any, he hasn't been in trouble at any point he's not in trouble now yeah, yeah he's just he's cruising at this point 
No, I don't really see Harry Matthews taking any um, taking any risks. I don't see him. Oh, as I said that, he catches him <laughs> <the> overhand. <laughs> right. Timothy is cursed. Uh, Jeez. <laughs> oh, there's that, there's that right hand again. He's taking it better though, Matthews. That right hand to the body. Yeah, I think he's fully recovered from that. Oh, great yeah, could, shot. Yeah, that's a good right hand to the body there from, from Matthews. Sneaky, didn't see that coming. Nah. But you really got to give, like, you know, you really got to give Harry Matthew and these gentlemen their flowers, man. He can get up twice from something like that and then go do this again next week. Yeah, not exactly. And you saw the pain in his face. They oh, really hurt. Oh, he was oh, hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Great overhand left. Yeah, was... um, and again. It's a great time. Could you see Hennigan in with... with uh... The likes of Zach Chelly and, and and so on and so forth. That sort of crowd at the moment, ten fights in. Um, no, I, I think I think he's, he's still got a lot of learning to do. A lot of learning to do. Them boys are tough. They're they're grown men. They, they've got their men. They've got their man's strength. They've had experience. They've been in real fights. Mm. Um, Hennigan's yet to be in a, in a in a real fight. I mean, he might have had an extensive amateur career. I'm not sure. Or you know, but as a professional, we've been in with a lot of you know journeymen, and he's yet to have mm. a real fight. So. I think a couple more fights, maybe 15, between 15 to 20 fights, he, he's ready to, you know, step to that level. But he, he, he needs, he needs that test before he moves on. Oh, 100%. He needs the acid test before he steps up to the lights of like Chelly, of Lorraine Richards. Do you know what I mean? Like he, yeah. he needs, he needs some area stuff. Like you said yeah. earlier, he needs some area stuff, some English. You know, he, need, he needs all these level fights. If he goes in now, he's, he's in my opinion, he wouldn't. It'd be too early. It'd be yeah. way too early for him. I mean, domestically, it's, exci it's an exciting division. Though. A lot of guys are kind of on the same level, so to say. I think sometimes as well, when we look at fighters, for example, Lee Wood, when he was thrown in with, I think, Jamie McDonnell earlier on in his career. Yeah. He lost, but you never would have thought that Could he would go on to be a, a yeah. two-time world champion. Oh, oh some good right hands there from Hennigan. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But th those, are, those are the facts you're learning, just like... um. Just like, just like Linus was saying in, in the first battle, he said, yep. when you use a drill, that guy's going to learn something. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, it's up to you to learn it and take it on board, but there's, there's lessons there to be learned in that. So I guess that's what Lee was done. And now look at him, he's the world mm. champion. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Last and final round here. It's been a, it's been a real contest for, uh, for Hennigan, hasn't it? Yeah. Wow, it's just, uh, yeah, just sweat. Yeah, just flying all over me. <laughs> The joys of being wingside, eh, Denzel? Yeah, I know. I've got to have another shower. <laughs> <laughs> if it was the COVID days, I think they'll be uh, sweeping the ring up right now, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want home COVID. <laughs> I, think, I think it's just the same again from, um, from James here. Yeah, he's not really looking for the finish. He's he's boxing well. Mm, just looking, looking for the really victory, well. to be fair, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. boxing really well. I mean, the victory's in the bag, and he doesn't really need to do much. No. You, you just, you know, if he was caught, you'd kind of just tell him, you know, don't do nothing stupid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, it's a massive learning fight. Just enjoy yourself. Don't do anything stupid. Yeah, and I think Matthews has also warmed to, to Hennigan's power, so that he knows he knows what to expect now. There won't be no surprises from here. combination there from Hennigan he uses his right he, he uses his lead hand really well throws it upstairs downstairs controls you know controls the distance with that jab mm. really good range finder as well yeah, kind of really sets yeah. himself up It's been, a, you know, what I mean, it's been a really good first fight for Hennigan, especially being inactive for so long. You know yeah. what I mean, it's a really good display in my eyes. Here, it's actually yeah, really no, good definitely, man. It's almost as if to say to thank Warren, look, look what I can do. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess he's at that stage where, where there's, you know, you don't really know whether to, to push him onto them area level fights or he still needs a few more learning fights. But I mean, after this, he probably can push onto one of those area fights, depending on who the champion is and stuff. So. I mean, yeah, but in the next one or two fights, he's ready for an area title fight. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's not slowing down, he's not running out of, he's not running out of, mm. out of gas. Mm. You know, you'd almost put him in an eliminator, like, try to get him in an eliminator, see where he's at, as a yeah. acid test, you know? Yeah, 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 that's a good shot. 
And you know he's from Liverpool, so he'd probably be fighting. What's that? Uh, Northern Northern area. Oh yeah, Northern uh, area. Yeah. yeah. So it sense. won't be, you know, it won't be a southern area. It won't be a Midlands. So you know. See, that's the thing as well. When we associate area titles, we automatically think southern area. Yeah. But yeah, are... those are the best fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The best fighters here. Yeah. Yeah. No offense to anyone else. This is what it is. <laughs> Midlands massive. Where are you? Stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Midlands, sit down. On. Where sit you at? Down. Where you at? Stay sat down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm. good, good fight here yeah, for, for Henny Good, good and um, definitely yeah. taking away something here which is n- 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 national fight to get the ring activity activity mm. yeah. 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 yeah very good display I mean, I'm impressed I'm impressed very good display James, you now move to Teleno. You're back in the ring after eight months out. How good was it to be back? Oh, I'm no better to be back, you know. It's all the hard training and everything. Shake the rust off. No, it was a fantastic performance. Did you feel like there was any rust in there? Yeah, I think when I had the weight in the second round, I got a little bit carried away with myself and tried looking for it, which I don't usually do, but just something to go back and work on. What is the plan for you now? Are you going to go straight back in the gym now after you've had that layoff? Yeah, we were on that. I'd be out next week if we didn't get any fans and always in the gym, we're always saying hard. So as soon as they want me back out, I'll be ready. What is the plan? Now you're telling her, are you looking to step up in the fights? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to fight anyone. And, you know, it's all over the and get better. So whoever you want to put me in with for whatever, I'm, I'm happy to be there and do it. Brilliant. Well, it was a fantastic performance. Well done. Thank you, Ali. Thanks.